Hi, I'm an applicant in the process of joining the Royal Air Force and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Defensive Aptitude Assessment. I'm going to give you advice and tips on every single topic that is in the DAA and how to best prepare for it. So first of all, what is the Defensive Aptitude Assessment? The DAA is essentially an assessment on your intelligence and your natural abilities. There are six elements to this assessment. These are verbal reasoning, numerical reasoning, spatial reasoning, work rate, electrical comprehension, and finally mechanical comprehension. With verbal reasoning, I recommend that you read the question first so that you know what to look out for. By doing this, you'll be able to eliminate information quickly, which means you'll get your answer more quicker. There's not much revision that you can do for this, apart from getting used to reading the question first and getting used to skimming information quickly. Personally, I'd say this was the easiest part of the entire assessment. With numerical reasoning, I would recommend revising things such as subtraction, addition, multiplication, fractions and algebra, especially if you're not already good at doing those things. The best resources that you'll find will be on BBC Bite Size and YouTube. The best advice that I could give you is to learn mathematical concepts that help you get the answer quicker rather than what you may have been taught in school. Also to mention, this section of the assessment is non-calculated, but you will get a piece of paper and a pencil to do any working out. I personally found the spatial reasoning quite challenging. The first part was simple to comprehend, but the second part was quite difficult to get my head around. In the assessment, there'll be things such as screwdrivers, planes and more that have been rotated. It's very similar to the mock DAA. This is another thing that's quite hard to revise for, as there aren't many resources. The best advice that I could give you is to try and engage your imagination and see how that object has been rotated. How well you do in this section will be down to your natural ability. The work rate section is just the same as it is on the mock DAA. How well you do in this section will depend on your natural ability to remember things and how to analyse them. Best advice that I could give you is to skim and eliminate potential answers. What I mean by that is that if you see the first shape, letter or object is not in the correct order, then you know that can't be the correct answer. For electrical comprehension, I would recommend revising things such as measuring electricity, forces, conductors, equations, and things as such. If your trade involves electrical work, I would recommend that you try and score as high as you can in this section. For mechanical comprehension, I would recommend revising basic hand tools and their uses. I would also recommend revising forces such as gravity, push and pull, friction, and cogs too. If you know you have weaknesses in any specific section, then definitely do some revision. There will be questions that you simply do not know the answer to. If that's the case, take an educated guess and move on. Remember that you are against a timer. It's better to answer a few questions than to get caught on answering one. Another thing to keep in mind is that the DAA is taken on an iPad and not on a piece of paper. I would highly recommend wearing a suit if you have one, but if you don't, I would recommend wearing a formal shirt, trousers and smart shoes at a minimum. If you're a female, I would recommend wearing a smart skirt and a top and smart shoes at a minimum too. Of course, there's no requirement for you to wear this, but first impressions do matter. And this is the first opportunity that you'll have to present yourself to your recruiter. If you can't afford to buy any smart attire, then just create the smartest outfit that you can from your wardrobe. So now I'm going to talk about what actually happens on the day and what you can expect your day to look like in the AFCO. So before even arriving, make sure you get a good night's sleep and have a nutritious breakfast. I know it sounds cliche, but trust me, it will help you. I'd highly recommend arriving 15 minutes early. There will be a space for you and other candidates to sit at in the main lobby. Spend this time going over any notes or any last minute revision. Take pictures of your revision notes so then you can look at them and get that last minute revision in. Soon your recruiter will come and ask to check your IDs and any other documents that they ask you to bring. You'll then be taken to a room where you'll do your DAA. But before that begins, your recruiter will introduce themselves and give you instructions on what to do and what to expect. Make sure you're listening carefully. You will then log on to your Ritz account on the iPad and the DAA will be in the events tab. As soon as you finish the assessment, you can leave the room and you can go back and sit where you were originally at. One by one, you'll get called by the recruiter to go into a private room and you'll be told if you have passed the DAA or if you haven't. If you pass, your recruiter will email you your certificate and briefly explain what the next steps are. And that's the end of it. 
I remember leaving the AFCA with the biggest smile on my face and I really hope it's the same case for you. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It helps me know that you guys actually find these videos helpful. And if you have any questions about the DAA, just leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. I hope you the best of luck with your DAA and thank you for watching.